Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you three different methods how you can level up as fast as possible in Season 1 in the First Ascendant. Now a few things have changed and there are some positive changes in Season 1. Leveling hasn't been any easier and today we're gonna talk about where you can level up both your Descendants and your weapons. Before we get started, now if you haven't watched my previous video about how to level up in the top three locations, now watch it because the second option over there is actually still viable, but I'm not gonna be talking about this in this video. Before we get started with the three methods, make sure you hit that thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you don't have any friends, I've got you covered as well. Join our Discord. The link will be in the pinned comments below. Our Discord is now over six. 600 members all of us play tfd we make new friends every day we help each other with bosses so if you're just interested in joining a community make sure to join my discord and i'll meet you there now let's talk about the three different ways how you can actually level up in season one dungeons have been boosted now they also give you additional ascendant experience on completion all of the dungeons if you open up your map if you click through the dungeons you will see that all of these dungeons have a ton of experience however there is just a few dungeons that are best in slot for leveling up those two dungeons that i do recommend running is magister's lab and biolab it is recommended to do biolab in an efficient group so that you can make the most experience per hour in there now magister's lab i've tested this the footage in this video is actually me running pugs and it took me about 30 minutes to actually level up from level 1 to level 40 and i'm still super happy i particularly tested pug group running over here with the folks with from our community in discord we actually have been able to do it even faster in about 25 minutes we were able to actually get from 1 to level 40 which is amazing the downside is that you barely get any weapon experience so if you just picked up a new descendant or you want to catalyze as quick as possible magister's lap is actually really really decent and another very positive thing about doing dungeons is that you also get daily pieces right now if you still haven't unlocked Haley, you will have a chance to get two amorphous material patterns if you guys did enough points and those patterns you later open up for crystallization catalyst blueprints or energy activated blueprints the second most popular way to level up in the first ascendant in season one right now is going to be a very popular method that has been also pre-season and this is going to be block hyper mining in sterile land a special operation you queue up from Albion directly and the reason why this is actually still very good and not only still very good but it actually got even buffed if you have a decent group you can go from level 1 to level 27 in just 10 minutes the reason why I recommend block hyper mining an easy way to level up not only your descendants but also your weapons you get really a lot of experience over there make sure you always equip different weapons that are not leveled up so that you get that juicy proficiency experience for your master rank from our calculations and multiple runs and testings we get an average between 3 million gold per hour over there you can also get golden mark of arrests dropping over there worth 1 million gold and the third option is going to be Vabi run i still stick to this option because this is one of the still best ways of getting as much as possible gold and kuiper per hour uh, this is average between five to seven million gold per hour however the only downside about the Vabi run is that that you are basically running in circles right and it's just about that i mean it's really good in terms of experience again don't get me wrong it's good in experience it is good in in gold and copper per hour however it is very repetitive and it's always the same thing over and over again however it's still one of the top methods how to get experience in the game my next video is going to be a tier list season one tier list of all the descendants i have been playing the game since day one and now i have a pretty decent overview of all the available descendants in the game so i decided it's time to roll out my own uh, seasonal tier uh, for you guys so make sure you stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video